The absolute chaos of the Christmas holidays has definitely begun. Uh, the kids are at home, Christmas music playing, uh, it's all very, very nice but uh, I've just taken an opportunity to slip out because um, there's a, a parcel waiting to be collected and I think uh, it might interest you. Ah, it's very nice just to have some peace and quiet for five minutes, I have to say. Um, but here we are, I've got the parcel. So um, I'm hoping this is what I think it is and not um, another one of those Christmas packages that I've ordered because um, I hate going to the shops around Christmas time. I'd rather just order it all online. So let's have a look. Yes, it is. Right, so I have ordered myself, uh, let's have a look at the labels on here. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well, a snow foam lance. Uh, I'm an absolute sucker for gadgets and um, I've seen these everywhere and people seem to be using them and getting on very well with them. Um, a lot of them are very, very expensive and uh, I wasn't prepared to spend a vast amount of money just to see if it worked, if it was just a bit of a gadget and something I, I could um, use a few times and get bored of. But um, this one, uh, having read all the reviews, for the price seemed to come out quite well. I think it was £30 and um, it... Uh, all the reviews were really positive. Uh, anything less than that seemed to be very negative uh, and I didn't really want to spend any more than that to be honest. But um, it's, uh, it's all here, top bit, a bottle um, and I have got the um, detergent snow foam stuff on its way. So as soon as that arrives I think I'm going to dedicate a video to uh, clean the car with it and uh, give you a bit of a review. Um, this is the Pro Clean Foam Lance. So um, we'll see what it's like uh, probably next time, dep weather dependent. Now while I'm heading home, I can um, talk to you about Hyundai again. And the fact that one of their big wigs has come out and admitted that uh, they've pretty much dropped the ball on EVs. What he said is that they are about three years behind where they should be now. Uh, they obviously didn't realize how popular they were gonna be uh, and as a result, they haven't been putting the time and effort into them that they should have been. Uh, now, as far as Hyundai are concerned, um, I've test drove the Ionic, and um, if you've seen that video, you know I was really impressed with it. It's a, an absolutely brilliant car. And um, whilst the kind of the EV market is evolving really, really quickly, um, it will soon start to date. The range will soon start to um, be less than some of the other cars. But at the moment, that is a brilliant car. Uh, the massive downside to it is uh, you're looking at 12 to 18 months waiting list uh, because Hyundai have uh, claimed all along that the uh, the batteries they can't get. Um, they're saying that the supply chain um, is that bad, that's how long it's taken to get the batteries. Now, whether we believe that or not, uh, or whether it's more to do with actually the amount of money they're making in the car and they don't want to overcommit themselves because maybe there's very little markup in the car at all, if any, I don't know. But either way, um, that's where the Ionic is. Now, the Kona is about to be released, and that's like a, an SUV that looks brilliant. Uh, on paper, it looks like it's gonna be uh, a great car to, to own. But I've also heard again that they're already talking about the limited supply of batteries. So, you know, again, I don't know if this is genuine that they're struggling to get the batteries, or whether actually there's there's not much money to be made in these EVs at the moment. But let's look at the positive side. They've said that they now want to really uh, push on and make a really big concerted effort to get those three years back. Um, they've also spoken about um, the cost of batteries now battery prices that we know at the moment are, are tumbling they're falling so so quickly uh, but I guess there's gonna have to be a, a point now there is uh, continued development and looking at different batteries personally speaking I think the next battery that will um, go in the majority of cars will be a solid-state battery um, but at the moment we've got our lithium-ion batteries uh, and the price of those are, are really falling but Hyundai believe that there's going to be a limit to that and they're talking around the 2020 mark that actually that's going to start to level out. Uh, and the reason they think that is because 
At the moment, the demand for batteries is there, but it's not massive. Uh, the development is coming on, which is reducing the price of batteries. Uh, at some point, that development and demand are going to meet. And, and at that point, they really aren't going to be able to keep up with the demand. No matter how many gigafactories and what have you they build, the demand for them genuinely uh, will be more than they can supply. And for that reason, the prices will level. Supply and demand, it's simple. And I think that just points towards, again, as far as Hyundai are concerned, that they are going to now start making a real concerted effort to up their supplies. If they can get that Ionic and the Kona selling really well, plus they say by 2025, I think they're going to have something in the region of 38 different models, uh, green um, vehicles they're calling it. So it could be hydrogen fuel cell, hybrids or full EVs. Either way, the, the demand um, for the batteries is going to be that much greater. Uh, so I'm wondering if maybe they've um, put their calculations into what they expect to actually be selling when they make that concerted effort to um, to get up and running really with, uh, with a full supply chain uh, and without all the wait times and everything else that we've had to put up with. So um, only time will tell, but I, I see this as some really, really positive news from um, Hyundai, uh, somebody that really should be leading the market because it looks like the cars they produce, EVs they produce, are very, very good. Um, and let's hope that others now follow. Like so Toyota, they're starting to make um, the right sort of noises around EVs now after they've shunned them for a very, very long time um, in favour of hydrogen fuel cells. Uh, yes, they're still going to carry on with their hydrogen fuel cells, but it looks like there's some partnerships developing that um, Toyota probably will start now releasing some full EVs that um, you know we actually see, not um, these bizarre concept cars that they only sell in certain places. Well, now I'm home, I'm not going to take you in and subject you to the chaos that is my children, um, but they're having a great time and it's nice. Christmas is kind of just around the corner now, so we're... Um, we're doing a lot more family things, which is great because we haven't seen masses of each other over the last um, few weeks. But um, yeah, so if you've enjoyed today's video, remember to like and share it. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll see you again next time when hopefully the weather will be all right and we can give that snow lance a bit of a, a, a trial and a review. Um, until then, um, take care. See you soon.